Bonjour gamers, how you guys doing today? Uh, so I want to start filming this just because I don't want to just sit in my chair and keep thinking if I should film this. I feel like I'm kind of putting it off, but I, I, a piece of me feels like it's important to put out. But another piece of me feels a little vulnerable talking about burnout just because of the fact that, especially in Korean MMOs, it's it feels almost kind of taboo. But I feel like if I don't talk about what changed for me and what kind of gave me like a new life into playing, uh, and also things that I've noticed as a content creator, on, you know, talking about like the burnout I felt and kind of things that could maybe resonate with either other content creators and also other players and also talking about like how the game kind of causes this as well. I think these are all things that are very, very important to talk about because I'm going to be honest, it's you just have to. <laughs> I started to realize that some of the community has a bit of an uh, abusive relationship with Lost Ark. And I really want to just open this video up by starting off with like, if you're playing the game because you're afraid of falling behind, stop playing. Stop playing, that's not a reason to play. Just straight up. If you feel like you're only playing because you're scared that you're not going to be able to catch up, or you're scared that you're going to fall even further behind or whatever it is, stop. Just stop playing. I literally play this game literally as my job. I play this game eight hours a day minimum. And there are people in my community with full-time jobs who do not whale, who have bigger and nicer accounts than I do, just playing hyper-efficiently. Everybody's behind, okay, dude? <laughs> you will always be behind. You need to play the game because you enjoy it. And I guess that's kind of where this all starts. Around the time that Brawl came out, I guess I didn't realize it, but I think I was starting to burn out. And then when Brawl actually launched, um, everything was a jail. Guardians were a jail. Brawl was a jail. All of my time was spent inside of jails. And I felt like that was like destroying me. <laughs> I'd have a lot of anxiety for reset days, which I don't think is something that's normal. You should be excited for your reset day. But I would always have a ton of anxiety because I knew that that was a new week, a new week of new jails. And... It was overwhelming to me and I didn't realize it, but over time I was starting to become a little toxic and probably more than a little, I'm going to be honest. And it all kind of culminated into like a month, a month and a half after Brawl came out where one of my homies messaged me after we had done a Brawl together, I was doing it on stream or whatever. He said, hey man, he was checking in, making sure I was okay, talking about how, you know, maybe I'm, if I'm feeling a little anxious or a little depressed, like it's important to like kind of like think about that just because like I had been a little bit toxic and, you know, sometimes that stuff like that will make you lash out. They had to ex explain their own personal experiences with like anxiety and depression, how that affected them in, in their work. And I didn't even realize it. It's kind of took me by surprise because sometimes I am toxic and I realize that I'm toxic. Like if I flame someone for running like spirit absorption to activate raid captain, like, listen, I know I could be a little toxic sometimes, but <laughs> this scenario kind of took me by surprise because I didn't mean to be toxic, right? In my head, I was just normal and it, I guess sometimes something really like makes you realize what the fuck's been going on and it kind of forced me to have to face my feelings in a way, right? And that's when I realized I had been burnt out really, really, really hard that I didn't want to play the game anymore at all. And so that night, I, uh, I was on Reddit, I usually just browse Reddit to chill, like watch people mauled about the game or whatever. And I saw a thread about burnout and something in the comments said, dude, stop playing the game, it's not your job. And that really resonated with me because I'm like, fuck, dude. This is my job. It's literally my job to play the game. <laughs> so I was like, I felt like I was a bit at a crossroads. And I remember the next day, you know, made a video, uh, got on, started streaming, and I was miserable. I felt like shit. It was the only time I ever played the game consciously, realizing that I was just playing it because I felt like I was supposed to and not because I wanted to. And that felt fucking terrible. It felt so bad. It felt so, so, so bad. And I'm like, this can't really go on. And this is where I guess the journey began on to honestly finding a way to like love playing the game again. And I actually can't even believe I'm back at this point. And this isn't going to be a video to try and talk about like, hey, these are some tips to, you know, not burn out or to deal with your burnout. Everyone's kind of different, but I'm going to talk about my experiences as a content creator, my experiences as a player. And hopefully it resonates with some of you. If it doesn't, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. But I think stuff like this is important to talk about because uh, I do think that Lost Ark is not innocent in the situation either of making players feel the way I felt. Now, I don't know how this is all gonna flow together just because um, I'm not really scripting this. I feel like scripting something like this is like psychotic or something, right? I, like I feel like scripting a very candid moment of yourself seems kind of crazy, but. <laughs> um, I guess I'm gonna start off with my perspective on it as a content creator. As a content creator, I felt like at some point, I'm like, are we just meant to be jailed, right? And this sounds kind of weird to say, but I started to look at a lot of other streams and I've noticed like there's two categories of Lost Ark streamers. You're either jailed or you charge your community for buses. Um, I realized that e either you end up using your streaming platform as a guess, like kind of like a vessel to be able to like bring up your bus business and the two kind of contribute to each other because you like you bus and it brings people to your stream. 
uh, and then they could trust you to bust them because you're streaming and blah blah. It's like this, like it's like this, like uh, I guess symbiotic relationship you develop, uh, or you are just pretty much like jailed often because you're either just running a lot of stuff and you're running a lot of like really hard raids and so you're just kind of destined to like be perm jailed or it's through like learn doing a lot of learning raids and whatever it is and i kind of thought i'm like is this the, the design for it i'm like are our content creators just meant to be in these two categories and i don't think all of that is entirely true but i do think some of it did kind of ring true but this is where i was at i felt like a little burnt out I felt like I was like, okay, well, I'm like, I can't take doing all of these Legion Commanders. I'm like, it's a lot of stress. I was getting fucking super anxious on every single Wednesday because I'm like, okay, all the Brawls are reset. I got to run all my Brawls. Blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, okay, we got to run the Carls. The Carls are reset. I got to run all the Carls and the Carls were in jail. Everything was really, really stressful. I'm like, okay, well, I'm like, if I'm getting stressed out with this, I'm like, do I gatekeep more? And gatekeeping weirdly actually made the anxiety worse. Uh, I've actually realized that, like, just by not gatekeeping at all, it's just a lot more fun and much more of a good time. But we're gonna get into that later on. So, from the content creator perspective, I didn't know what to do about it. I felt like a little, a little trapped is the best way to describe it. I didn't want to do dailies. I was getting burnt out on my weeklies, and I wasn't sure where to go from it. And I felt like just saying this part was important because if I, if there is another content creator that hears this and it vibes with them, great. I don't know how many content creators watch my stuff. I'm gonna be honest, but. Um, I think talking about the burnout from a content creator perspective is important because, again, it's our job to play the game. It's our job to, like, stream and have a good time. And if you're not having a good time, that shows off in the content that you make. If you're unhappy, you make unhappy content. <laughs> it's just what it is. And so it's important to actually find joy in what you're doing because I feel like that's kind of our job, right? Is to, like, spread joy and have a good time. Uh, and then from the player side of this, I started, like, thinking, I'm like, okay, well, I need to, like, change my characters, right? I'm like, okay... If I'm going to be jailed, <laughs> let me change up my roster. If there's any characters that I do not playing, do not like playing in their current spec or whatever it is, I'm like, I'll take people out of the roster. I don't even, I don't even care. I'll try whatever, whatever amount of gold it takes. I actually do not care. I'm just going to grind it out, figure it out, change it up. I, that's all I was my focus. I, I have to change this up because I don't want to continue this feeling. So I started to switch around my, ro my roster a little bit. I started switching on my specs. This is when I started to try out Robusty. This is when I just started to try out... Um, you know, Surge Deathblade, whatever it is, if I ended up not liking it, I switched to Mayhem for my Zerker. I'm like, if I don't, and if I don't like these, I'm like, I don't care how much money I invested into it. I'm just killing this character. I'm putting a new character. If I don't like that character, I'm going to kill them. I just didn't care anymore. I just wanted to make sure I had a roster that I found enjoyable to play. And I did. It did help a lot. And it made being in jails or being whatever, just doing raids a lot more fun because I found specs that I find excite me. I'm going to be honest. I'm a goblin. Big number. Dopamine and brain. So throwing big bombs, throwing big surges, it makes me feel good. It actually makes me happy. I find it a lot of fun to do. And so it, that aspect kind of got solved. Uh, there also was the nerf to Carl. And I'm going to be honest, I think that nerf to Carl was like the biggest up for like my, <laughs> my, <laughs> I guess my burnout. This kind of happened after the burnout had passed. But I felt like once Carl was nerfed, I had to realize like, holy shit, I think a large part of my burnout too was that like, I like doing dailies. I I usually like doing dailies. And I do take breaks from them from now, on, now and again because I think that that's just normal and healthy. But I usually like doing Guardian Raids. But Carl was the first time I couldn't stand doing the boss. It's not like it was hard. It's not like it was long, especially you know, after everyone got a little bit more geared. It was just annoying, especially that I play like four or five entropy classes. It sucked ass. <laughs> just straight up sucked ass. And so the nerf to him, I felt helped a lot. The other thing, and this is something that I guess is more mental, and so this might not resonate with everybody, but... I just decided that I refuse to allow the game to give me anxiety ever, ever. I just refuse. No matter what happens, I refuse to ever feel anxious or stressed with the game. It's a game. And even though I guess in my scenario, it might be a little bit more than a game because obviously, you know, I'm, you know, I like making content around the game and stuff. Um, I decided that I don't want to feel stressed when I play it anymore. I refuse to ever allow it to ever, ever give me that feeling. And through that, I feel like my burnout kind of just left. I started to have more fun with the game. Uh, I started to like my goals started to like come back up, right? I was I've always been someone who's been very uh, outspoken on having goals and uh, how to do things and all this other shit, right? And that kind of had left. I was so stressed about doing all these brells that uh, that kind of left me, and it all came back. I've been doing my dailies like literally unrested again, like which is kind of crazy to think about. Uh, I'm excited about my progression. I'm excited about pushing my characters. I'm excited about playing the game again, and. A big part of that is I was just like, all right, well, I don't want to feel stressed if I play. Like, that's the biggest thing. Like, and if I f continue to feel stressed, I'm going to just not play, right? And that was, like, the biggest, biggest thing. I started to, like, not gatekeep my raids or anything I do at all. I, like, and that's a lot more fun. I just want to be able to... 
I decided that I'm like, dude, I'm gonna stop being stressed out. I'm doing things that like, don't make any sense. Um, I just wanna have fun with my community. I literally just want to have fun with my community and show the fun that I'm having with them because it's just more fun that way. If everybody's just playing together and having a good time, that's all that matters because at the end of the day, the goat lady will die. And I think a really important thing, and this is more if you're a player, just walk away from the raids. If you're in like a really, really bad jail, you don't have to be mad. You don't have to be sour. Get the fuck out. Get out of there. <laughs> Listen, one character missing a couple gates of a raid is not the end of the world. And I think this is the biggest thing and the most important thing. Be okay with not being efficient. I know it's hard to say because this game attracts that kind of player and it's a lot easier said than done. And I do think, and we're going to touch on this after, but I do think the game is guilty in making us feel this way and so not only are you are we fighting our own habits we're also fighting like actual design elements of the game that encourage this kind of behavior but one character missing a, a lockout one character missing a singular gate it's nothing your character one single character earns fucking nothing in this game you earn literally pennies a lot of characters missing something will end up amounting to quite a bit but even then if you're not running your five six if you're not running your four five six whatever it is it doesn't really matter You'll get the gear anyways. You'll still be able to keep up competitively. You'll still be able to hone. And maybe even it's time to like start reducing the amount of players that we play, right? Like or reducing the amount of characters that we play. Maybe we don't have to keep these massive six person rosters. Maybe you try to lower the roster or whatever. I mean, I'm probably still gonna play a pretty big roster just because I do play the game a lot. But I think that's was like the most freeing thing is that being okay with like, okay, well, you know what? This character is locked in a gate six jail. I'm like, whatever, if I get to it, I'll get to it, right? <laughs> like <laughs> organizing yourself where you're like, you don't really care because at the end of the day, do the things that you find fun. And I really can't stress this enough, but finding people to play with, I think is the most important thing because um, once all this like stress relieved from me and I felt like I was like more of myself again and I was just kind of playing the game for fun and I mean, especially since I like, you know, the gatekeeping was on everything, it was just, I realized having fun with people is just the best thing to do. Mean people, fucking, like, if people like Int, like, you know, and run it down, just meme on them and shit. It's just a good time. It's just actually a lot more fun when you're doing it with people that you know and people that you can share an experience with than when you're in the gulag just trying to get this shit done. You know what I mean? Now, the last thing I want to talk about is for the people who are FOMOing out, right? I feel like there's a lot of stigma around people who FOMO. And... There's always like this thing where people don't really ever take the game, hold the game accountable for the way that it can make us feel. And I also think that's kind of disingenuous. I think just like flaming the fuck out of people who FOMO and not take understanding that the game has accountability in this in the matter is kind of wrong because I do think the game also holds accountability. I think the the most the 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 biggest outlier of creating FOMO in this entire game is one simple currency, and it's silver. There's no reason silver should be in this game. And I think that's the largest example of like the game does a bunch of things to create FOMO, but I think this is the most glaring one. Um, we already have a daily currency. We have Guardian Stones, or we have uh, Leap Stones, and we have Shards. And the same place you farm Silver is the same place you farm Shards, your Chaos Dungeon. And Shards are already a character-bound uh, currency that is also farmed in Chaos Dungeon. But on top of that, they give you Silver. Now, if you actually look at how Silver is farmed, Silver does not raise proportionally with your Chaos Dungeons. A 1415 Chaos Dungeon, it's like it, it is, it does not raise proportionally, but the amount of silver that you need for your gear goes insanely high. And it's the same thing with shards. Although shards still get a 10-15% bonus every time you go up a level of the Chaos Dungeon, um, the amount you need for gear starts to get ridiculous. And even in Korea, they <laughs> I think they like nerfed it for the Akon gear or something. It's kind of nuts. This is the kind of things where I think the game does need to hold like actual uh I guess credibility, not credibility is not the word, but there has to be some blame put on the developers for creating systems that create massive FOMO in players. And so if a player is FOMOing out, I mean, yes, you're making your own choices, you're a human being, but I think holding both sides accountable is important. And I think saying this out loud so players realize it is also important because when you're playing this game, you're not only trying to fight off your own FOMO because realistically, especially in the West, this attracts a much more hardcore player who is much more obsessed with, you know, someone who's a little bit more obsessive, someone who's going to be a little bit more fucking bricked up with efficient about efficiency and all that shit. But it also does things to really manipulate that player. <laughs> because honestly, anything in the game that costs silver could cost gold. And if anything, it would actually be great for the game because the game actually needs more gold sinks because of how reward rewards work in Lost Ark, right? Like, silver doesn't need to exist, but it does, because silver forces you to log in, because you need a lot of it, and you get very little of it. You get the least of it out of anything, right? So, all that being said, 
and I don't know if this is just all me, like, mad rantings of a, of a gamer, I have no idea, but I think the things that I would want people to take away from this is, honestly, if you are playing the game because you're scared of falling behind, stop. Literally uninstall the game, stop playing, take a break. It's time for you to take a break. You're too deep in the fucking Lost Ark rabbit hole. You need to take a step back, play some other stuff, do some other things with yourself. That is not a reason to play a video game. I think if you're somebody who enjoys the game and wants to continue playing, but there's things that you might not like, take it back. Stop doing dailies for a little bit. I do that. I literally just came off of that. I stopped doing dailies for like a month or a month and a half or something. I would do them fully rested. I wouldn't even care if my characters were full rested. I just said, fuck it. I don't care. I'm just going to do the parts that I want to do. Take a step back. Be okay with not doing some of your raids. I think like last week or two weeks ago, I didn't do five Vultans because I just didn't have time because I was playing Hogwarts Legacy. I don't care. <laughs> just take a step back. Don't worry about the efficiency. You have to... I. It sounds crazy, but the most freeing feeling is just not... Uh, like, just not <laughs> doing your raids. It sounds very, very weird. But once you do it once, it's like ripping off the band-aid. It's a little freeing and you feel a little better about it. And I'm going to be honest, I still get all my raids done now. It's like, you know, it happens every once in a while. But don't stress out if all your characters aren't doing every single gate of every single raid. Sometimes it's okay to just like be like, all right, this group's not working out. Take a step back, leave. There's nothing holding you to that group. You're not being forced to sit in there, right? And I guess lastly is don't let the game give you anxiety. And for me, the game giving me anxiety was gatekeeping. <laughs> Being a gatekeeper. Um, that was part of the game that I felt like was giving me anxiety. It'll be different for everybody. And different things will make you feel free or not free. But um, whatever it is you feel like gives you anxiety in the game, be aware of the fact of how you're feeling. Try to be mindful of how you feel. And then try to work on those feelings. Because if you can figure out and pinpoint what it is that's exactly giving you anxiety, chances are you're going to have a lot better time playing the game because you're not going to feel anxious because the game should never make you feel anxious. Even though it might try to, it should never make you feel anxious. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, again, hopefully this makes sense. Um, I'm going to like listen this over again. You might never see this. You might, you probably will, to be honest, though, because I do feel like it's important to say this. Uh, it just feels really spooky, I guess, being vulnerable and talking about like the bad sides of myself and my, like I guess, like my feelings and stuff because... Um, it's just weird posting stuff like this onto the internet, but I feel like as a Lost Ark content creator, it's important to talk about because no one talks about this. Literally, no one talks about this because uh, burning out is cringe, but everyone can burn out silently, right? <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, you know, check out the streams, sub, like, all the other stuff, and I'm going to be catching you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.